Hi Money Viewers, I'm Susie Moore. And I'm Heath Collins. And we work together as owners of an online coaching business, Susie Moore International. And we've been working at home together for three years. Are you working at home at the moment with your spouse due to social isolation? Here's what you can do to make it as smooth as an experience as possible and minimize getting on each other's nerves, which is practically <laughs> impossible sometimes. <laughs> Even in a small apartment, find your own space. This really matters. Before moving to Miami last year, we lived in a smaller apartment in New York City. He's at a desk in the living room and I work from the kitchen table. Having a designated space, even if it shifts some days to the sofa or even the bed, it's helpful. If you have a house, you have more options, an actual office, the basement, a spare room, but small spaces totally work too. You can claim your domain, make it nice and tidy, and then get cozy and settle in for a couple of hours. Don't expect similar work schedules. We all have different working rhythms. I personally like to sleep in a bit, take my time in the mornings and start working later and finish later, which aligns most with the ebbs and flows of my energy level. And Susie on the other hand likes to get up early, start early and finish early. However, we always make a point to eat dinner together and spend some quality time together throughout the day where we don't talk about business at all. Be clear about what you need. Give your partner a heads up on your day the night before. You know, maybe you say, tomorrow I have a call at 11 and two. So please avoid calls around that time so it's not too loud. And let your partner know when you need space and silence. And to make sure that he or she isn't walking around half dressed in the background of a Zoom call. Take breaks at different times of the day. This is a nice tip. When you need a walk to get some food or even work out outside, do it at different times to one another. This not only allows each of you to enjoy your home alone for a bit of each day, but it's super important in decompressing any tense energy that may have built up. Crank up the classics. If you want to play music at home, maybe you can land on some Mozart or Bach who have proven to boost your creativity and lower your stress without the distraction of any lyrics. We like this as opposed to any kind of concentration playlist. Ask your partner, hey, can I interrupt you? This may seem silly because, well, you're at home and it's your partner, but instead of just blurting out questions or problems and shouting across the room, ask first or send a Slack or email. The same way you would with a coworker who's concentrating on something really important. And be patient when you're asked this question yourself. Headphones when you need them. Enough said on this. And noise cancelling ones if you can. This can even be a visible, unspoken sign to not interrupt you. Remember that being at home can be fun and there are lots of perks of working together at home. The option of naps, being relaxed and casual, more time together, and a break from anyone annoying at the office. Having emotional support at home is nice too. The most important thing to remember right now is that this social, social distancing period won't last forever. So be easy about it and think, how can you enjoy this period together? Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, let us know in the comments below and be sure to share it with your friends and family who you think could benefit. Until next time.